firefighters say any time a large amount of smoke is dispersed into the air, it is a concern. What's unique with this fire is that they don't know what's in the smoke. Now, when you look down on the fire, you can start to see the smoke is thinning out, but it still is a health concern, especially for people close to the building. The smoke is going to be toxic coming from that building. Almost as dangerous as the fire burning inside the Joe building is the smoke it created. When you get a building like this uh, and unknowing what's inside that building other than the photo photography place, uh, that smoke is going to be quite toxic. Many people downtown today were feeling the effects of the fumes. People shouldn't be down here. The list of ailments is long. Stomach aches, headaches, burning eyes, and sore throat. It makes it kind of hard to breathe. It's kind of hard to focus in. It kind of bogs up your eyes. The smoke is most dangerous for the very young, the elderly, and those with heart and lung conditions, such as asthma or heart disease. Just because of my bronchial asthma, I try to be on precaution. Businesses just blocks from the Joel building were not evacuated, but some decided to close on their own. It seems everybody who was near the Joel building today was trying to get away from it. Kind of hard on your uh, eyes and gives you a headache just from a few minutes being down here. If you have to be near the fire area, even if you're just driving through, officials say do whatever you can to keep the air outside from getting inside. Uh, roll your windows up and, and turn your AC off, your um, vents off from inside your vehicle. As to how long the smoke remains a health concern really depends on two things. One, how long the building smolders for, and number two, the winds. Reporting live from the top of the Davenport Tower, Tori Vernetti, KXLY4.